our lakes freeze entirely over and when that happens it can destroy our docks so taking our docks in and out every year in our neck of the woods is just status quo because sometimes that can be a little bit of a challenge Twisted off. Yeah. All right, Zach. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Hey, uh, this is Don. Don and I, we Stand. actually originally met at the National Trailer Show, yep. NATDA, and we're going back there together this That's year. Right. So. We've actually worked together quite a bit. Yeah, absolutely. We destroyed one of your trailers. We tried to. We drove a 22,000 pound forklift <laughs> over a flow trailer. Obviously, we've been working with trailers. Like you said, you know, we started talking to Docs, which is a very big division at mm -hmm. Flow, our residential dock and bolt lift systems. Flow, well, we say, kind of reinvented the roll in dock from the old homemade roll in dock with wheels. So we made modular sections. Okay, so instead of a long roll in dock with wheels at the end, kind yep. of like I just saw you pull out. Yep. We put wheels on every section. So these are 16 foot sections and then we're gonna put a sun deck on. Every section has wheels. There's big advantages to that. First of all, it's modular. So you can create whatever design layout you want. Okay. Yours are gonna be a pretty traditional straight out, nice ramp, nice sun deck. But if you wanna make slips and all kinds of stuff, the modular sections with wheels give people all those options. The thing you're gonna see is the stability and bracing on what you just pulled out compared to this. Every one of these sections has the two legs and they're double braced, kind of like a carpenter would brace an upright. You get it braced this way and this way. It's solid. You probably don't even realize how much that dock's been swaying back and forth. Once we put this thing in, you're gonna be like, wow, it's did we it build this a, thing like It a feels pier? a little like a trampoline when people, and like my son stomps out like an elephant and I'm like, oh yeah, here he comes. So a little <laughs> spongy? Oh dude, all, all it. And maybe wobble. Oh yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah, so doing the legs on every section, it solved that as well. So you're gonna find that you're walking on like somebody built a fixed pier, like at a you know permanent dock system that's built. So now we're kind of reinventing that whole roll-in dock again with our new quick attach roll-in. Okay. So now there's tracks in the side. We'll we'll show how this stuff works with the accessories. So putting. You know, th this first time we have to put the legs on. Yeah. And we'll never take them off again, but we got a little bit of assembly. And what we do have flow, because some people will do this themselves, right? Okay. So they want it easy. And when you get that big bag of hardware, it can be like, what, what do goes, I even use yeah, first? Yeah, what goes where? So with our instructions, you know, you go through step one, step two, we have this shrink wrap card. Step one, here's the hardware you need. Step two, follows the instructions and it keeps it really easy and it's, it's one of those simple things that flow does but oh so you actually people, have, have this yeah so you get to step one and you know what stuff you need instead of a big you know the old coffee can treatment where you got a bunch of hardware <laughs> and you're like oh my gosh what do I, I don't even know <laughs> the what the coffee can i never heard it called that before i don't even know what a three quarter by three and a half is <laughs> oh you know, yeah I mean, yeah like, i know Don, you want to show us how a leg goes together yeah, so this is the actual wheel kit leg inside of this leg, and we'll demonstrate it later, but there's a screw jack. Okay. Kind of like a trailer jack might have on the tongue. Yeah. So there's a screw jack, and when you want to adjust the height of your dock, if the water's up or down, yep, yep. this is going to be flush with the top of the dock. You just take an inch and an eighth socket and a drill. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to adjust the whole dock up and down with each leg. Okay. 
So, so you're you not can, gonna so be... once it's in, you can actually then adjust it up and down right. if your water elevations change. Yeah, without getting in the water. Here. So this move. is the connection system. We're gonna need to loosen this. How we connect the two dock sections together. So the way the quick attach works, you see these flanges coming off this aluminum extrusion? Yeah. They made up with these two tracks. There's also a track in the bottom of this. Okay. So then this tightens it to the bottom. So these connectors are really tight. And this, we call that the quick connect. This is what makes the whole flow dock system modular. You can put these wherever you want on these tracks and then oh, run another section up. And then you can add so, on to that dock anywhere you're right. you want. So we're going to go straight out with the sun right, deck. Yep. But let's say next to your Stan says, ah, his wife made him buy another pontoon and a fishing boat. <laughs> yeah. that yeah. So he wants to make a slip, right? Yep. He can just get another section or however many he needs, put these on and run one this way and then go out. Can you push that, at, just lift yeah. that out? Go that way. way. Gotta go a little more. Right. Okay. Okay. Right, see how we got the gap yeah. here? Yep. Right. And bottom. Yep. So this so isn't binding up when we roll this thing all in. So that gives it off. And it's another key. I always want to have these connectors all the way to the outside. Because let's say you had those in, even an inch, dock this slept. dock could possibly shift. You want this edge to be true. Once you have the dock fully assembled, you never have to take it apart again. What we're showing you in today's video is start to finish how you put it together, but you can have this turnkey done for you. So you were talking about dock sway or roll or what was it? Well, we were kind of talking about both. Like the, like we just assembled, there's wheels on each section, right? And this is one of the kind of the old style original rolling docks. It just had wheels on the end. So really heavy to lift that. I saw you using your forklift to get it out because mm -hmm. it's heavy, right? Yeah. But the other thing is the stability. Rolling docks are notorious for sway. Look at me, I mean, I'm doing this with no effort. And let's walk over there and do that to this one though. You can see how those braces are on so now, leg. So now we got extra braces on the legs. We've got these braces this way and this way on every leg. Yep. And now, I mean, I'm giving it an effort here before I was doing it with one <laughs> you're not, finger. You're not using one Look finger anymore. Okay, but wait a minute, Don. Before we get too far into this, I'm looking at all of these wheels. Is this standard then? Yeah. And this is, you have, you make three different kinds of docks. You make a floating dock, and then what are the other ones so you we make? we do a floating dock, we do a, what we call a post-sectional. Okay. So if you're on a, like, see right across the lake, if you're on more of a hillside, yeah. and you don't have this nice shorescape like this that a roll-in works well in, mm -hmm. you might need to stack your sections up in a small area. Okay. And so part of this new change to the quick attach that's about to come out here is going to be for 2023. We're now offering this new chestnut finish in our, still aluminum green, but it's a new finish. And then you have a gray finish. And the quick attach that you're talking about, what we've been doing, just to like reiterate this thing, say in case that point's not very clear. Like you see this chair that Zach is tightening up right now, we could slide anywhere around this entire dock section at any point. We can move the table anywhere we want. We can put the bumpers anywhere we want. We could just loosen these up and slide this whole thing over, pop it off, set it on the other side. That's the quick attach system that's and that's the brand, attach. that's the brand that's new the thing. That's the brand new feature. That and the new finish and the new color. Yeah. yeah. But okay, so is stuff like this, like this, I'm looking at this under bracing here, Don. Look at this. Right. You've got boxed in aluminum all the way around. Yeah. You've got the bracing like that. That's all pretty much standard. That's it not is. an upgrade. That's not a special thing. That's all standard. You know why the decking comes off this? Because it's too heavy. It's too heavy. So with the flow, it's welded. That decking is welded to the frame. It's all one superstructure. So when the when my lake floods, they can't lose your top. You're not losing your tops. And here, And I don't. I notice they don't have any of the bars. So there's my legs. Yeah. So your legs go down on a flow system because all. Well, we can show this once we get it in the water. But we're gonna level it 
with these legs, but inside of every one of those legs, there's a screw jack, right? So we're gonna take our socket, and we're just gonna turn that, and it raises it up or down, depending on the height we want. And that's how you level your legs up. And you can be on top of the dock when you do it. Like that one, you're gonna probably be in the water. Somebody's gonna be going like this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and then somebody's <laughs> gonna tighten it. And oh, yeah. it's usually when you do that, it's- Oh, you know how many wrenches I have in that lake? <laughs> From in November, when I'm trying to pull this thing out before the lake freezes over, and I'm bending over, and I'm trying to wrench on it. I actually used you to- You lost them or he did? No, I lost oh. them. So I've actually strapped the wrenches to my hand, <laughs> so that when I, cause your hand starts to go numb. It's like, how long can you keep it underwater before your fingers stop working, right? And you're quick wrenching, and it slides off, and there goes your wrench. I don't, I even, this, this spring, I'm like, Frankie, I lost another one your crescent wrench is like don't worry about it they're all yours anyway <laughs> <laughs> Now when you go to adjust the legs up and down, it is recommended you use a drill and not an impact so you don't damage the gearing inside the mechanism. Oh. Oh, oh, a little bit more. Good. That's in here, right? So it shows you up, down on the cap. People will be like, well, I don't want to roll in dock because they're not stable. Well, I know I'm just talking to you, but trust me, this thing is not like that, you know? I can't get this thing to even <laughs> shake. Don, how do guys find a flow dock? Well, we work with dealers all over the country and Canada. Okay. So probably the easiest way to find them is just use our dealer locator on our website. And the dealers will assemble the dock for you. So you can assemble it if you want, yep. but a dealer will do that for you too, unless you don't want them to exactly. do it. Exactly. Right? Like today we got to put this together. You're a hands-on guy. You like to understand stuff. It was Absolutely. the only way we were going to do it. Yep. But a lot of people, you know, Lakeshore people, they just want to show up on Friday night and this thing looks like this. Like this. You know, they they yeah. saw it on the on the website and now this is what they see the next time. So yep. they, you know. All right. And I'm going to tell you guys, go to the Flow website and check out their design dock section because if you are in the market for one it's amazing it shows you all the different options it lets you play with it if you're like me you're gonna have a lot of fun with it but that's our video for today I hope you guys enjoyed the process uh, we wanted to just show you some of the upgrades to the dock something that's never been seen before I mean because there's never been a quick attach system on a dock like this it's it is on the flow trailers though it's in the bed of the flow the track yes yeah. the versa track similar type of thinking right right so you took Took that same kind of thinking and technology that you use to make it so you can adjust it so you can clamp your snowmobile skis down anywhere mm -hmm. in the trail right here that infinite adjustability right here yep. so this is where this technology came from we've then. been doing that on these trailers boy I got to think back here it might have been 1997 I think when we put these tracks on trailers yeah right here and then when you park a snowmobile on here yeah. you know before a lot of them just have a, a hole with the threaded you know, receiver yep and you have to be right there if you're not right there you're trying to jockey your snowmobile so you can put it anywhere you can get your, your load distribution your weight just right yeah you can slide it anywhere you want so that's where the idea came from I'm guessing right yeah I mean I think so probably indirectly I don't know if we said that but yeah for sure that's the thinking all right. Well, I hope this has helped some of you guys out. Big thanks to Don. Thank you so much thank for you. coming out. Appreciate thank it. you. Appreciate it. Thanks you, for going thank with you. the flow. <laughs> F-L-O-E, flow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we got for you in this one. God bless you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And go get them. Tell me about your, your dock situation. What do you got going on where you're at? Are you in the market for a dock? And what do you think of something like this? Catch you on the next one, guys.